Hey folks, today I'm going to take you through how I am building an app with the help of AI without being a coder. This is interesting because I don't think people use these tools to learn how to code to build products, but rather they're using AI tools to harness the power of software engineers to an extent to allow you to build pretty simple applications. It's kind of like borrowing the capabilities of these software engineers for a limited time. But without the tool, you wouldn't know how to do this. The first thing we're going to do is break down and think about what are we building? Why are we building it? Who is it for? Because there are way too many people that jump straight to building and don't actually go through any kind of design process. So I'm going to show you a process called the builder's mindset. Let's take you through how we can plan out building an app and some of the tools that I use to do that as well. Let's talk about this concept of a builder's mindset and why you need this for any role that you do in any company. Now, for those of you watching the software engineers, you're probably very familiar with this. In that world, it's called an engineer's mindset. What it really is all about is how do you solve problems and what's your process to solve problems? So regardless of what you're doing, usually what we understand is what is that goal that we want to reach? So what we want to build, what are the problems that we are trying to solve? What we want to do is to reverse engineer this process to then understand how do we get to this end goal. This is incredibly important. You shouldn't build anything or start a project or do anything to have clarified all of these components because this will actually help you build a great product at the end of this. So let's kind of break down what we need to consider. So you can see here, I've got a lovely little visual which I'm using from Napkin AI to help me do this. Great tool. So make sure to check that out. And what we want to do is ask ourselves four things about any product that we're building. So one is, why am I building this? Two, what problem is this solving? So the so what test and how will you build it? So basically we could look at this as, well, we need to find the purpose and these two really overlap. So defining the purpose and solving the problem. So we have to at the beginning look at and say, why does this thing even exist? Why does this product need to exist? You know, who is it for? What do they want? Do they need it? And then being really clear on what is the problem you're actually solving? There are too many products available that don't actually solve problems. They are just made for the sake of being made because you're able to do it. But just because you're able to build something doesn't actually mean it should exist. Two different things. So you want to combine those two and think about what is the problem we're solving? And why are we building this? And who are we building it for? And then the so what test. So this is actually something I taken from a writing framework from a fantastic writer called Anne Hadley and put this into this process here. So the so what test is basically saying, well, okay, so what? So what if you can build this? You know, how, how is that really going to change my life? How is it going to transform the things that I'm doing? This is not about features. This is about understanding what's going to be the benefits for the user. So we've all looked at the problem we were trying to solve, but what are the benefits out of that problem? And based on doing that, what is that so what? What is that because? Why is it going to be unique? Why is it going to be valuable for people? What are you contributing to whatever industry you're building this app for? This can be really helpful later on when you start to think about positioning, when you start to look at having conversations on selling products, if you get down that far. So just saying that, so what test is, I find, very powerful. And then finally, how will you build it? So how will you build it? It's not just about, you know, what programming language am I going to use? What app am I going to use to do this? It's actually about what will the user experience be? What will the user interface be? What is the flow of that experience for your user? What kind of users will be engaging with this? How savvy are they going to be with the type of product you are building? So the first thing we want to do before anything is look into this builder's mindset. And really, I'd say this is one of these behaviors, if you want to call it that, that we should all look to craft. So in sum there, so we want to ask ourselves, why are we building this product? You know, what problems is it solving? Who's it solving them for? And then the so what test. So what's so great about doing this? You know, how is it going to help the individual? How is it going to transform them? What's the unique benefits? How are you going to build it? So of course, the technology in that, but really importantly, it's around what is the interaction 
for the user and what is their experience. You can have a great idea, but it could be poorly executed, which is going to be useless. So first thing, craft your builder's mindset, ask those questions, and then we'll go into starting to build out a bit of a rough wire frame in terms of what could this look like? And of course, we're going to use AI for a little bit of help with that. We've covered this builder's mindset. Now, the next part of our process, what I would suggest you do, especially when building an app or any product is to just draw out some rough sketches of what you think it could look like and how it could work. I mean, that's incredibly beneficial. Yes, that is using a pencil and paper. You can use an iPad or any digital tools if you want to. I'm just still really old school with pencil and paper. So what you can see on your screen here is a app that I like to use to flesh out some user interfaces. Now it's called VO, it's in a public beta or beta right now, I'm not really sure how to say that word. And what you're able to do is drop in those rough drawings and just give a text overview of what is it you're looking for. So this is a generative AI tool. And what this does is basically help take some of the ideas that I've got like this early building process and put them into a visual that I can actually play around with add some more into and share with other people. So what you can see on my screen here is that I've already got some images that I've uploaded from drawings in my notepad and I've given the premise of what I'm building. So what I intend to do with this app is to build a website, basically is a fitness tool for busy dads. So the premise here is that these busy dads, you know, they haven't got a lot of equipment, they haven't got a lot of time and people want to keep in shape. They don't want to get a dad bod. So how do we take people from dad bod to dad god pretty much. Now, what this website will do is basically give people the opportunity to come on and say, I have got X amount of minutes. This is the equipment I have or no equipment. And this is my energy level right now. And what I've asked Vio to do is to look at the rough sketch I've given of what I think the main page can look like with usable elements. So what we're going to do is just action this here. And I've not done this before. So this is completely live and we're seeing what it's doing. So VO is thinking, it's looking over what I've given. It's created a little project here, which we've called Fitness Website Design. So for people who don't code, I'm not a big coder. Obviously what's happening now is it's making these React components. Okay, cool. So what we can see here already, which is actually not bad, is it's taken some of my rough drawings and it's put it into this page preview here. So this is the taglines I'd already built on the images, which is really good. And we've got this slider to say, you know, how much time have we got? We can select the equipment that we've got to use and the energy level as well. And then I've got here about finding my workout, which is awesome, which is not going to work right now. So what we can see here on the left hand side of my screen is what it has done to build that. What I could do in it here is just say, OK, so can we change? the word equipment to weapon for a bit of fun and can the choices be symbols instead of words so let's see what it does there and what i'm showing you is that we can continue to kind of mess around with this to build a ui which may be then useful for us to take off and use in a AI agent tool like Replit right now or Cursor. And that will be my plan of this. So my plan will be to go off and use one of those tools, post this to do that. So, okay, you can see it's tried to um, create stuff here. It's not been able to do some bits. So we can just say, um, fix that there. And let's see what it does. But we've got these three icons, which it could be. So let's just assume we'd have our icons there for each of these. Evidently, I've not uploaded those icons, so it hasn't got them to use it. But what we could do, I could say, is keep playing around. So if we wanted to change this into a drop down, we could do this. So what I'm going to say is let's change the time into a drop down of five minute increments. And so we'll, we'll just leave this other component now because obviously it's, it's not working. But as I say, first time using this tool, so we are just playing around here. Okay, cool. So again, it's going off. It's going to change some of this. If I want to take this elsewhere, I can because I've got the code here to do that. But the whole idea is in this space, 
what I want to be able to do is just build a rough UI that I can see how this app might potentially look and then take that into what I'm working with, as I say, an Adrian, which I will be in Repla to build this app. So in sum of this whole video, before you even touch apps that are supposedly going to help you build these products and applications as a no coder, invest in a builder's mindset or what engineers call an engineer's mindset. Be really clear on what you're building, why you're building it, who is it going to help, and that's so what test. Once you've done that, draw out some stuff digitally, physically, put it into a tool like this and mess around in terms of getting a UI to a place that you're happy with. So I hope that helps and I will see you in the next episode where I'm going to take everything that I've done here and put it into either Replit or Cursor and then go off to start to build a first version of an app with the hope to deploy that in the next month.